Hello and welcome to Pam Branch Designs. Today we're going to be working on a trinket tray and a bookmark. We're going to use decoupage to apply paper to the trinket tray and the bookmark to make it more decorative. I have several papers to choose from. All of them are available online at pambranchdesigns.com. I think I'm going to use the picture of the butterfly on the flower. Uh, for the bookmark, I created a paper just for this bookmark and that will fit perfectly. I took this picture when I was at the beach in North Carolina and I think I took the picture of the butterfly on the flower at the Chattahoochee Nature Center. I'm going to start with the trinket tray first. I'm just sketching in the outline of the trinket tray so I can cut off some of the excess paper. I'm using the bottom of the trinket tray as a guide. I actually got this little tray at the dollar spot at Target. Now that I've got the paper to the right size, I'm going to paint just the inside of the trinket tray white. I think when you paint your surface white first, the colors really stand out. Now that the paint is dry, I'm going to use Mod Podge to apply the image to the bottom of the trinket tray. I'm going to use what I call the hinge method. I didn't actually make up that term, but you just kind of flip the paper back like a hinge, put the glue down um, on the surface, and then just flip it right back down and smooth it out. Once that first half of the paper is down and secured pretty nicely, I just flip up the other end, apply the glue, and then press down the other half of the paper. I try to go pretty sparingly on the surface with the glue. Since my fingers are dry and they're clean, I'm just using my fingers to just press the paper down and smooth out any wrinkles. But if you prefer, you can use a little piece of plastic and rub that over the top of the surface so that you can smooth out any wrinkles um, and just make sure that there are no bubbles. With respect to the actual paint that I used at the beginning, that was an apple barrel paint, um, a matte acrylic paint, water-based. Um, and with respect to the glue, for the base of the project, I used Mod Podge Matte, and that's also what I'm using as the coat or the sealant on top of this particular dish. I put about two coats of that Mod Podge Matte on top of the image. I allowed it to dry for about 20 minutes between each coat. And then after 20 minutes, I gave it a spray of Dupli Color Clear Coat just to make sure it was all sealed in. I figure I'm going to have this in my bathroom. Um, I don't intend for it to get wet, but I just wanted to make sure that it was sealed.
Now for the bookmark. I'm basically using a craft popsicle stick that I bought at my local craft store. Um, if you are interested in using the same image to create um, a bookmark, it is available online at pambranchdesigns.com along with the dimensions of the actual paper. I'm using the same white apple barrel matte acrylic paint as the base for the bookmark. I'm painting the entire bookmark, front and back and the sides. Now that the paint is completely dry, I'm going to put one coat of Mod Podge on the bookmark. Once that Mod Podge is dry, then I use my Cricut Easy Press to iron the paper onto the bookmark. The heat from the Cricut Easy Press reactivates and then it adheres the paper to the bookmark. As you can see, I have my Easy Press set to about 280, 270 degrees, um, and it's working fine. If you're using an iron, just make sure that you don't have your iron on the steam setting. You don't want water um, flowing into your, your project. I don't have a specific time that I use to press the paper to the bookmark. I just press it for a few seconds along the surface of the bookmark and then check it to make sure that the paper has adhered, um, particularly to the edges. If it's not adhered, then I can run the easy press or iron over the paper again. Now that the paper is adhered to the Popsicle stick, I am just using a nail file to sand off the edges of the paper. And I'm holding the nail file perpendicular to the bookmark so that I'm not actually scraping away any part of the image. Because I'm using this as a bookmark, I want to put a hole in the top. So I'm gonna mark the place where I'm gonna put the hole, and then I'm gonna use my Dremel to drill a hole in the top of the bookmark. Um, if you do not have a Dremel or a drill, or if you're not comfortable with using power tools, you can also use a hammer with a nail, just be very careful. Um, if you're not able to do that, you can maybe ask someone who is capable of doing it to do it for you. You know, to just put a small hole in the top so that you can feed through a ribbon or a string. Um, again, I'm going to be using Mod Podge to seal the top of the bookmark. I'm just gonna put about I think just one coat of Mod Podge on the bookmark. And then when I spray the trinket tray, I'm also gonna just spray the, the bookmark just for safe measure. I'll use the Dupli clear coat to seal both of the projects.
Well, both projects are done. The bookmark is done and so is the trinket tray. And again, both papers are available online at pambranchdesigns.com. The bookmark dimensions will be listed in the description on my website, so you'll know exactly what to look for in terms of your popsicle stick. If you have questions, please post them below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you like the video, please click the like button and also subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay.